looking right now, I mean, if you're on social media at all right now, I mean, you're seeing a, some wild, wild, wild west up in that piece, man. And what's so sad about it is that there's such a like a, a lack and loss of hum, humanity. <laughs> the Bible says that people's hearts will grow cold. I mean, to live in this time right now, it's just, it's just interesting. And what's so weird is that people want to say, okay, this is all, you know, we're cold because so and so is cold, or we're this or that because so and so is this or that, and we're just doing what that person does. It's a, it's a, it's a weird thing, right? And what ends up happening is people, they project upon others their own judgment and their own morality based off of somebody else's actions. Now, what does that say about the individual doing the judging? Well, what it says is that you're above the other individual. So you can basically judge others, right? And you can look at somebody else and say, well, you're so terrible, so I can say these things that are terrible as well, too. So you kind of match and match for, you know, for whatever, right? And in doing so... You set yourself above. Now, I'm gonna tell you when Ruth Bader Ginsburg, when she died, I still, I, you know, she's still a person, man. And she had a soul. She met her maker, and I wanted to pray for her family. I don't know, you know, her family is obviously, you know, her husband died a while ago, but you know, her kids, grandkids, all of them, they're gonna miss somebody. Like somebody would miss you. And when that happens, they don't get that time back. Because, you know, you're dead. <laughs> I mean, you live your life and it's over, man. You, you got one timeline. There's no coming back. You get one life. That's it. And when that time happens, you know, folks want to celebrate you or they want to condemn you. I don't want to condemn her. I mean, I don't know her personally. I just know that, you know, she was responsible for some things about kids and babies that I don't agree with. But still, she's a, she's a human, so she'll be judged on that stuff. I don't know what the condition of her soul was. I'm not going to try to judge it. But I just tell you that I know that there's a judge at the end that judges the creator, right? But there's a there's something else here that, that I think is missing. And when people are like, yeah, you know, there's folks out there who joke. And I got friends who are joking. You got a bunch of jokers out there. But there's, a, but there's another level of it, too, where there's some other folks out there who have a literal and, and, and a palpable hate in their heart. And they, and they think it's justified. And then they make a distinction between white supremacy and the hate that they feel as if it's something different. Hate's all the same. Hate is all the same. And when it comes out of a person, it displays itself in weird, in weird ways and it justifies itself by its own actions. They'll say, I hate because so-and-so, they deserve it. And then this is what I talked about before because hate, it changes people. It changes people to their core. And to pull that out of a person, I mean, it's almost like an exorcist, dude. You gotta actually work through an actual mind, like a, a mind change, right? Like a whole, like like all your synapses and the way that you think, the errors that you held on to, those things gotta get changed from the inside. And it's gotta be, it's got a total process, but it can happen quickly where you can go to hate, but it takes a long time to get out of it. So as you see it, you don't, you know, like, and there's going to be folks out there who are going to act vitriolic. I mean, you see some of these people in some of these news networks. I mean, good Lord, dude, like, whoa, like, whoa. But that's what's in them. But they've got ulterior motives for that stuff. And you guys got to understand this. There's ulterior motives for why people actually hate the president. There are. And you just got to, you just got to recognize it and, and call it what it is. That they're, that they, that they've got something else that they want to hide here. So they've got all the, the reasons to want homeboy to die. Okay. And of course, people who are supporting the president, they don't want him to die. It's like, yo, you're actually doing something that is actually good for the nation, for the people. But people disagree about that. And that's okay, you can disagree about that, whatever. But to hate somebody that much, it says something not about not about the person that they're hating, but about the person who is hating. And that's, that's it just says something sad. And that's got nothing to do with what the president's done or said. That's just in the person's heart. Because nobody can make you do something. Nobody can make you become something. You choose that. How you react to somebody is your choice. How you, how your words come out of you when somebody does something to you, that's, those are your words. They don't own that stuff. You own it. You own it by what you say and by what you do and by how you act and by what you believe. That's all you. And as it's all you, you get to, you got to be, you get to become that person that you are deciding to be on the inside. 
And this is all I want to encourage about is that, that it doesn't have to be that. It really doesn't have to be that. And again, like I'm praying for the president. I would, if this was Biden, dude, I literally would be praying for Biden right now. I'd be like, dude, I don't want homeboy to freaking pass out. You know, it's the, you know, I don't want him to go. I wouldn't want him to go. Like, honestly, I'm just being real with you. I wouldn't want him to go like that. That, that would suck. 78 year old man getting COVID like that. You know, you understand why homeboy's been in the basement to be real. Cause I mean, there's an actual fear there. I mean, but Trump's like a complete opposite homeboy. He's like, screw it. Let's go freaking go into a rally, whatever, dude. Let's go take care of it. So we've got two different philosophies here, but I'd be praying for him. I'd be praying for Biden because, but that's what's in my heart. And see, this is what I want you to do. Okay. You need to check out who it is that you follow, who it is that, that you, you, you bind yourself to, because there's folks out there who literally are, are really wanting to love people who don't look like them, who don't think like them, who don't believe like them, who have different political ideologies than they do. There's people out there who actually are trying to do their best to love folks where they're actually at, despite what people may think or believe. There's people out there that are like that. You want to be aligned with people like that, man. I'm being for real with you. The folks out there who are literally hating, I, you, you want to think twice about what you're following, okay? You want to think twice about that because that stuff will bleed out onto you. And you'll get stained by it. And when you get stained by that, it's hard taking that stain out. Only, the only thing that will take that stain out is the blood of Christ Jesus, man. I'm being for real with you about that. Only Jesus takes out those freaking stains. So right now, you might be on that couch. You might be worried. Of course you're worried, right? You, you know, you got to be empathetic, sympathetic about that. Because, you know, this is, a, this is a human life. And it doesn't matter really where you come from. You still have a little bit of empathy and sympathy for the man. Then, and if you're on that couch and you're displaying that, understand, you're having... You're having like a real encounter with that cognitive dissonance I talked about before. The cognitive dissonance is breaking you away from all your feelings, all the bad negativity that you might have and just saying, hey, dude's a human. Okay, he's a human, right? He's a human being. You come from the human race. But if you're on that TV and you're, you know, you're yelling and screaming, yay, yay, yay. Just understand, you're leaving a bad example, man. I ain't following that example. I know who I follow. Do you?